here we are in the living room and I thought you guys might enjoy kind of an updated tour. I know I did one in spring to kind of show you what's going on if anything's changed and I picked the absolute worst rainy day for this but we're just gonna push through and I'm gonna just start over here. So this is new. This is a plant chair that I found for free and this is a Manjula Pothos that I picked up at Walmart um, actually pretty recently. This is two planted in the same thing. Over here I have my snake plant and my Alocasia Regal Shield. I love this guy. He hasn't done much since I brought him home and he gets dusty really easily. I just had him outside like two days ago and hosed him off but that's the new leaf that he had pretty much since December. So I'm thinking maybe a humidity thing. Maybe he needs more. And I just added this light. I'm just going to flash up quickly so you can see. Um, what I did right now, I'm just trying it with like an LED bulb that has a high, um, high Kelvin rating. I think that's what it's called. Anyways, it means it has like brighter kind of broad spectrum light. And I'm just going to kind of see if it will do anything. I've had these guys here since March and they've been doing okay. Like not a lot of new growth, but also not a lot dying back, back except for that guy. He's my problem plant. I'll get to him. But I just thought that I would kind of see if anything fun happened, like faster growth or things. And within the first day of putting that light in, I did notice that their responses at nighttime, I think it's called a photonastic response, and these are prayer plants. So at night, their leaves will fold up like a hand praying and then come down in the daytime. And I did notice within the first night of having that light that that was way more pronounced. So this one here is my Maranta. I just picked him up during quarantine. So he's been here probably like two, three months at this point. And I love that plant. I love how it's kind of like unruly and it just falls all over the place. This is another one there. This guy in here is not doing too great. This is a Clethia medallion, I believe. And a lot of crisping. And I have these guys in a humidity, like a pebble tray to try and help. This is my Orbifolia and I don't know if maybe if this was any other plant I would have given up because I can't provide it the humidity it needs because it keeps browning but I just can't get rid of this guy I found him when we were staying at a hotel during a huge power outage in our area like two years ago and it's just got sentimental value to me so I am hoping maybe the light will push out some new growth maybe you know maybe I'll get a humidifier and kind of amp that up a little bit that's my mosaica so this is a really easy Calathea. It doesn't brown as much as the others. So if you're thinking you can't do Calathea, this might be a good one to try. And the patterns on those leaves are amazing. I'm going to try and get in close and make it focus. So there you go. I mean, that, it just looks so neat. And then back here, we've got the Raven ZZ. Now over here is where I have the bulk of the plants in the living room. I do have one snake plant back behind me, but for the most part, it's this. And I'm going to start with the Hoyas that are hanging because that guy is in bloom and it's really exciting. So this one here is a Chelsea and this is another one I picked up. This was when stores started to reopen and Home Depot had this. I bought it thinking it was a Crinkle 8 because I saw like those little indentations, but after more research, I'm pretty sure it's a Chelsea. This one is my Hoya. It was marked a Bilobata, but I know that there's debates on whether it's a Bilobata or Bertonia. To me, I don't care. This one is my best growing Hoya. It just does so great. And you can see there's blooms all over. This one made me so happy this year. So we've got one there. You can see there's one back there dying off. There are two more. And then there's a peduncle somewhere that's just getting started. Um, I'm not going to be able to find it, but, oh, it's back here. Okay. So this is a peduncle that is just getting started. And I don't think my phone is going to focus on that. It's not, but anyways, that is that guy. These two here are my other ones I've picked up somewhat recently. This guy I picked up back in February, right before everything got shut down. This came from Terrain. 
And this is the Hoya Pubicalix. And it might be called the Splash one because it's got some white markings. Um, it just came as a Hoya Pubicalix. So, but that one grows really well. I love that. And if you look up top here, it's kind of wrapping itself around and it's winding up the rope. So that's kind of fun. And this one here came from Plantarina. This I was um, stalking for a few days on her site, kind of like thinking, should I, shouldn't I? But you know what? I was trapped in the house and I wanted more plants. So I went ahead and ordered this. And this is the Hoya Carnosa Crimson Queen. So this one has the white around the outside. If it's got the white in the inside, it's the princess. Now we will move down and go over these guys. So I'm going to start right here. This guy is like, I don't know. I love him, but he's also like the bane of my existence. If you look at this wrong, these little leaves just fall off everywhere. So I wanted to put him outside, but I just don't think he's going to make it. You can see I started popping them back in to try and like propagate, but honestly, they just fall off so easily. This is my string of hearts, and my husband bought me this one on eBay over a year ago at least, and it started out as like a little like three inch pot with just a little bit, and what I do is I keep cutting it and putting it back in the top, and this guy has gotten so much new growth, so I'm really excited how that has been working out. My Norfolk Pine, I picked that up this year after Christmas. That is my Hindu rope. It's the Hoya Carnosa Compacta, just the plain green version. I like the plain green version better for me. I just, it feels shinier and I don't know. I just like this one. So this started out as like a little cup from Walmart and I've been taking cuttings and putting them back in as I go. And I'm really happy. It's growing faster than I thought it would. This next one here is a Hoya Carnosa. And I believe this was my first Hoya. This came as a cutting at, from a plant swap I was at. So it was like one stick. And I cut it apart and propagated it in water. And it's about a year, maybe a year and two, two or three months later, and I ended up with this, it's grown to be this much in a pot. So this one's pretty fast growing for me too, honestly. And it's starting to put tendrils up now. So we'll see. And when I got this as the cutting, it actually had like blooms on it. It was blooming, which I didn't know at the time because this was my very first Hoya. I ended up cutting them off when I was propagating because they were in the way and I just wanted the leaves to get going. Um, so I didn't know that you leave the peduncles. Mistake, but we're going to move forward and hopefully it'll bloom. This is one of my favorite plants. This is my Rupsalis pilocarpa. So it's kind of like the hairy, fuzzy one. But this one just, I don't know. It, there's, it's just so neat. It's unruly. It's bushy. It just, like I've said before, they have almost like an alien type look to them. And I just think that these are one of like the best varieties of plants. I love Ripsalis. Back here, I've got a burgundy rubber plant. And I mean, this guy's growing pretty good. I've been cutting him down and putting more in the pot because I wanted it to be bushy more than tree-like. And so far, so good. There's a lot of new growth coming out. I did find spider mites on this. And you can see this leaf back here is kind of deformed. And if you got in close, I don't know if it's going to show, there is some modeling, which is how I was kind of like clued in that there was spider mites. So I've been, I treated that. I haven't found any more. So hopefully, hopefully that's all good. All right. This next one right here is just an anthurium. This is just one of the plain ones, like from the box store, but I love the heart shaped leaves of it. So I just think that this guy is really fun. And I've actually had really good luck with it so far, which makes me kind of want to try a few more anthuriums. I've seen like the crystallinum, which is kind of on my list. I'm not willing to pay as much as most people are asking. So I mean, if it pops up at a store near me ever, I would totally jump on it. But for now, this one is, is doing just fine. All right, we'll start here and then we'll go. There's two little guys down here after, but this is my Monstera. This guy grows like a beast for me. I got this originally as like a five or six inch pot for like 12 bucks at a nursery. And that was 
uh, let's see, January of 2019, I believe. So it's been like a year and eight months. So it's been quite a while, but I've ended up with this pot. I've taken cuttings and have another pot about the same size. So, I mean, this guy just grows great. It started putting out its first fenestrated leaf probably within a few months of bringing it home. So you can see not all of them have fenestrations and I don't have any of the inner fenestrations yet. I don't, maybe, I don't know if that counts as an inner fenestration, but eventually what will happen is they'll have like the ones out here and then they'll have ones in the center. I don't have any of them yet, but I'm really happy with how it's doing. And then we're going to go down here. So back there is the Tradescantia Nanook. And I don't know if he was featured in my spring tour because I picked him up pretty close to around then. I had seen Nick Pelleggi show it, the Tradescantia Nanook in a video and it went on my list like right away. And I just happened to find it at Home Depot that month. They had a succulent display that had these guys. They had string of hearts, string of dolphins, things like that. So I brought this guy home. And then the last one here is the <laughs> Zero Sisius Danguyi. It's called the Silver Dollar Vine. But I just, I love the leaves like this. So they're kind of like, kind of chonky. And this one actually is getting a lot more growth than I thought it would. I was thinking that this is going to be a slow growing succulent type plant. But it has pushed out a lot of new growth. So you can see all these little ones here. This is how the leaves start out and then they will grow to be this large size. So I've got some new growth there. I've got some new growth here and here. And then down in there, you can see that one's already starting to get a little bigger. So this one is actually, oh, and then there's another one there. This one's actually doing really well for me. And then I'm gonna bring you over here. This is the terrarium lamp that I set up at the beginning of quarantine. So this is just a lamp from Walmart and it's a fillable lamp, but what you wanna make sure is with the fillable lamp, the power cord comes out of this top part. You don't want anything in the bottom to have anything to do with electricity or anything like that. So you want the power cord to come out of this top part. And then all I did was just put a little bit of caulk on the exactly opposite of this so that no water would get up into the electronic parts. And then inside of it is a glow star fern and a nerve plant. Now the glow star fern is not doing as well as I thought it would. I mean, it's still doing okay, but parts will touch the glass and brown. I've opened this twice for maintenance since March. So basically I'll open it, take off any of the browning leaves. And then the nerve plant I have had to trim each time and put propagations in because that guy grows like a beast in there. So basically... I've planted this in March. I've opened it twice to kind of cut down or like move anything that was browning. And then I just put a couple of squirts of water, close it back up and leave it. And then my final plant in the living room is this snake plant. This one doesn't get a ton of light, but it does. I mean, it's put out that new growth since I've had it. This is also another plant that I got as like a, not a cutting, but like a small plant at the plant swap. And it's inside of... A terracotta pot that way it will dry out quickly but I wanted it to kind of be like hair coming out of that girl so I thought that was kind of fun and that is the only one on this side of the room so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the update on my living room plants for summer um, kind of beginning of fall and I will see you in the next video